Now, Ghana's new anti-LGBTQ plus legislation has drawn international condemnation, with the United Nations calling it profoundly disturbing. Under the new law, the promotion of LGBTQ plus rights will be punished with up to five years in prison. Same-sex relations are already illegal in Ghana, and activists have described the new law as another setback for human rights. Now, somebody who knows about the difficulties of life in Ghana for queer people is musician and activist Maxine Angel Opoku, also known as Angel Maxine. Uh, she is Ghana's first openly transgender musician, and she sings about LGBTQ plus rights. And I'm very pleased to welcome her into the studio here for more. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, how did you feel when you heard the results that, that Parliament had passed this legislation? I felt devastated. I was heartbroken. I, I haven't slept. Yes, it's, it's, it's painful to know that your life as a human being is being criminalized the life you've always struggled for, the life you've always struggled to live. You haven't lived a decent life as any other human being. It's now being criminalized. It was very hard for me. And this is one of the topics that, that you, you sing about in your music. Yes. Uh, it's become increasingly political over the years, uh, much of it voicing anger at the government in Ghana. Could, could you tell us a little bit uh, more about your work and, and the risk that it puts you out at to make music like this? So my work as an activist is to speak for people who cannot speak. And I am the voice of the community, I will say, because um, through my songs, a lot of people have gone to understand the struggles that the queer community are going through. And my lyrics and the songs are my lived experiences as a trans woman. Yes. Has it given you? Has it given you trouble? Has it made you a target in Ghana for the government? Yes, it has made me a target. Always coming out to condemn their actions. Always coming out to act. To I'm not attacking them, but I'm just telling them that we exist and we have been here and we have lived with you. Don't pretend as if we weren't there. We are here and this is our voice. Mm -hmm. And it has put me in a lot of danger in Ghana. Now, this bill not only criminalizes queer relationships, but it also targets those who are even just supporting LGBTQ rights. Um, what do you expect that we might see in Ghana if this bill is uh, indeed signed by the president? If the bill is signed by the president, there will be increase in violence in Ghana. A lot of people will be they are, there's already violence going on in Ghana already. People are being attacked every day. People are being beaten every day. There's so much going on every day in Ghana. And it's going to give people the freedom and the liberty to attack queer people because they feel that it's free. It's, 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 it's legal and it's okay to abuse anybody you want because they're a queer person. All their rights have been taken from them. And this is what the bill is saying. And you think that will happen, that just be because it is legal that people will feel uh, that they want to go out and attack queer people? Are you, are you worried about that? It's not even legal in Ghana, and people have already are already setting people up to just abuse them, to just humiliate them, to blackmail them, to beat them. So this is going to affirm what they are doing now. Mm. Yes. Why do you think that this bill has so much support in Ghana? What is, what is behind these attitudes toward the queer community? So we, we can say Ghana is a religious country and um, growing up we are told that it's a man and a woman and there are no other human beings. But as we grow up we realize that there are other people who are also out there. But we are not given the opportunity to... To, to love and understand these people and accept it. So it's, 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 it's very difficult like, for people to understand and accept that these people exist. Let's show them love, let's show them care, let's, let's embrace them as human beings as we are. So this is, yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us uh, with you, this message. We really appreciate you taking the time to come into the studio today. That is thank Angel you. Maxine. Thank you too.